Kofi Donko. Uh, welcome to ISN Network in association with TB Promotion. What's going on, brother? Not too bad, brother, man. How have you been today, man? How's training been? Yeah, it's good, man. We're just ticking over nicely. Mm -hmm. um, I'm boxing, not this weekend, next weekend, Saturday, um, 14th of March, down at Yule Call. Are oh, you fighting down at Yule Call? Yeah, Yule Call, Bethnal Green. That's, Who's you know, promoting that's how that we fight? Do it. Um, my manager, Steve Goodwin. Oh, Steve you're with Steve Goodwin? Show. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Steve Goodwin show, and yeah, that's how we roll. We're going to get the ball rolling. I ain't, I ain't boxed for about, last time I boxed set. September 2018, I made my debut, mm -hmm. won that fight, so um, I was scheduled to box just after that, but I tore my hamstring, okay. had problems, then I had problems with my shoulder, everything's healed, everything's back, and uh, yeah, 14th, we're, you know, we're ready to go again. Alright, for those that don't know about like myself, <coughs> give me a little bit, bit of your background about yourself. Um, yeah, my background, um, started boxing amateur, you know, when I was 16, mm -hmm. um, boxed all the way through. Um, Started on, started off, you know, doing three twos. In fact, as a, as a youth, actually, I was doing three night, uh, three ninety second rounds. Mm -hmm. and went up to uh, three twos, four twos, then open class. I was originally going to turn pro 2016. Had a little, a uh, couple little problems, uh, a few injuries, so it just stalled things. Mm -hmm. and I eventually turned pro, like I said, 2018 mm -hmm. September, and, 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 and yeah. That's now we're at the that's UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, what is this your first professional fight? No, no, this is my second pro fight. This is your fight. second professional fight. Okay. Do you know who your opponent is? Um, yeah, I think it's a guy, Lee Devine, but to be fair, I'm not really watching him. I don't really watch no one, you know. I just, okay. I just focus on myself, get myself ready, and, you know, with, you know, with my skill set and everything I got, you know. As long as I'm right, I ain't got no problems. All right. You know what what I mean? weight class are you fighting under? Um, I'm, I'm going to box at super featherweight for titles. Okay. Um, but on, on the shows, we're told what weight to be. Uh, anything around lightweight, uh, 63, 64, 62, mm -hmm. 61. All right. Just depending. I think this fight is scheduled at uh, 63.5. So, mm -hmm. yeah, man. All right. So um, talk to me about your um, who inspires you to box or who's your favorite boxer and stuff like oh, that? Oh, man. Back in the day, uh, you know, I used to study as a kid. I used to like a lot of the good British, uh, British okay. boxers. Yeah. Um, like Robin Reed, Jamie Moore. You've been um, taking it old school, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I used to like uh, Paul Ingle, okay. Mike, Michael Brody, yeah, Michael yeah. Ayres, Kevin Mitchell. A lot, of, a lot of the good British fighters. I, I, people like James the Girl I used to watch in the amateurs. Okay. Um, got you know uh, Bellew, um, Lee Selby. Lo, lo, load of British fighters that you know I've, I've watched growing up. Obviously, I'm inspired by fighters in America. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, but like I always say, I'm not really watching too many boxers apart from myself and it's focused on me and focused okay. on training do you know what I mean alright so unless you was underneath a rock though you must have saw the uh, Wild of Fury yeah 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 I watched that I watched that did that surprise you that was all um, yeah it kind of did I thought that you know Wild would probably stop Fury okay. but you know we, Fury's got a, you know, a lot of skills and uh, he, he can adapt you know and we see how you know we'd expect him to outbox Wilder mm. but probably be he would probably kind of vulnerable to getting knocked out that's what we thought you know mm -hmm. it'd be wilder by a knockout fury you know outboxing him but we didn't really think that fury would just back him up yeah put yeah. the heat on him and and, and 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 take him apart like that exactly. you know? so but but you can see he can, he can come forward he can do everything he can do everything fury he can box orthodox southpaw you know and uh i tip my hat to him because you know it's great it's put, it puts a feather in the cap of british boxing you know, okay. you know what i mean okay. and, and i'm all for that anything that brings more exposure to the sport I'm, I'm all for it, you get me? Fair enough. It sounds like Canelo is going to fight Billy Joe Saunders. Looks okay, like yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's got yeah. that. Um, how do you see that fight going? Well, to be fair, I hope, you know, Billy Joe wins, you know, because he's a, he's, he's a really skilled boxer and he's a British boxer and I'm going to back the Brit all the way. But the thing is, I think that Canelo, you'd need to have something to put, to keep Canelo off. I don't think that Saunders got lovely skill, but I don't think that He's got enough fire and pop there to keep Canelo at bay, and I think Canelo mm. will kind of just walk for him and stop him. You know, if Kovalev and Danny Jacobs and these guys can bang and they're big guys, you know, Golovkin couldn't stop Canelo from coming. You know what I mean? I think that Saunders going to have a hell, he, hell of a problem doing it just off silky skills. You know, you've got okay. to have something there to kind of stop him from coming. If we get that fight with um, Joshua Fury, man, what do you think yeah, the outcome is? I, I want to see that. I want to see that, man. You know what? I don't know what could happen. Ideally, we're going to side with Fury of the form guide of what happened with Joshua and Ruiz and 
off obviously Fiori's resume, but it's heavyweight boxing, heavyweight boxing. But that'd be a great British, British heavyweight fight. I don't think there's ever been a even F, F just heavyweight. I don't think there's ever been a British. All British showdown on that level, you yeah, know, all the belts, world, world heavyweight, unification, unification everything. Undisputed. Yeah, undisputed. These guys have got big, big personas, they've got big followings, you know, the eyes of the world will be watching. Do you get me? So, okay, all right, yeah. cool. Um, well, look, good luck on your fight until we yeah. march the 40. Yeah, and um, thanks speaking to you, and we'll definitely catch up soon. Eh? 100%, brother. All right, no yeah, worries, yeah. respect, man. Signing Peace. off. Peace.